Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday to you all. Thank you for coming at 1 p.m. Eastern today. It's a little bit of a different time than we normally do. Thank you for being flexible. Fally had a appointment this morning and I wasn't sure what time we'd be back. Um, as you can see, we transitioned the live title. It was about sublimation and things not to do or things to avoid when sublimating. But after yesterday's super exciting live, we knew that we wanted to do this today instead. So if you missed yesterday's live, you missed a humdinger of a live. A we didn't. Humdinger. <laughs> yes. Mm. We started out the live and eating, if I'm remembering correctly, 40 something lives in order to reach 10,000 no, subscribers. No, I think it was like 58. Was it? Or 53. It was around like 50. That. It was yes. quite a few yes. that we needed in order to reach 10,000 subscribers here on YouTube. And you all rallied like crazy um, and got us to 10,000 when we were live yesterday. Rachel put a little. <laughs> banner up <laughs> impromptu i threw all the confetti i've rewatched that video over and over again because i like take all of it and rachel's like trying to get like 10 pieces that are left to throw it's a whole thing <laughs> Thank, thankfully, she's very uh, forgiving, um, but we are so excited. We're still super excited that that you all, uh, we didn't do this, we did this. Yes. We did 10,000, yes. and so um, we were super happy to be able to share that with, with you all in the moment. It was really great. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, YouTube creators receive a play button YouTube plaque at 100,000 subscribers. So officially, YouTube will send us this fun silver plaque when we hit 100,000 subscribers, which, let's be honest, is sooner than later now. Hey. We're Sooner already moving on up. Yes. Yeah. Um, and I think I think ten thousand is a huge milestone, especially for nine months worth of content that we have. Do a little Google search, friends, and and see like how off or how long it takes to, uh, in general, to accumulate 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. It's it's pretty unheard of what we've done. Yeah. We have done. Yeah. Um, so we are so excited about it. We want to celebrate by creating our own play button. Um, and so that's what I've done. I'm going to show you how easy it was to put together an illustrator. And I've pre-done quite a bit of this because there was dry time and whatnot. But um, we'll go overhead in a little bit and I'll show you. Who do we have here, Rachel? Oh, we have a lot of people here right now. Yeah. Uh, and of course, more are coming in at the beginning of lives is when people get their amazing uh, notifications. So if you do not have notifications turned on or you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are turned on. But we have so many people here. The very first person to comment today was Miss Aubrey Rich. We have Nikki. Your mom is here. Linda. Jill. Fred. I mean, everyone's here. Fred said, oh, yeah, it's Becca. Yeah. yeah. You know, he said that to me yesterday. He just felt bad. I know. So that's why. Hey, I Lee, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, lots of friends here. This is uh, exciting. So exciting. Um... I don't even really know where to start. Let's start in Illustrator, and then we'll show all the pieces and all the fun. We had to add a little glitter to our, po our play well, button. it wouldn't be a DIY play button if there wasn't glitter. A little glitter. glitter. A little glitter there. So that's good. Um, yeah, Shirley said, my heart filled with joy for you ladies. We had so many people who were messaging us and commenting and texting and just the outpour of love and how excited everyone else is. Even people that I didn't expect to be super excited about it were very excited as well. And so I, it just blows me away how lovely and wonderful and supportive all of you all are. Um, Rachel, did you change your pass card on your phone yet? Cat. <sighs> my hand it's literally muscle memory i can't i can't I and can't. let's be honest friends if you want in her phone that bad there's probably nothing in it well can i tell you why i even have it because let's just let's just open it up i have sweaty hands my passcode works 20 percent of the time anyways because i still have an iphone 8 the only reason i have it is to use it for that 20 percent to like get into like my bank app or xyz with my thumbprint easily like I, the passcode is useful for that and no, honestly nothing else or i just wouldn't have a passcode <laughs> i just wouldn't have one but you um, guys are so sweet everyone is congratulating us becca honestly it's surreal it is that we've hit it it is so soon I'm so thankful. It's so funny. I went and as soon, I'll tell this story and then we'll we'll get started. I went to try to grab a screenshot of like when it happened. We were throwing up confetti and things like that so that I could make the thumbnail yesterday from it. And 
Like, each <laughs> one is like... <laughs> the one you sent me was the best. I don't know what was happening. I easily got the worst ever and sent it to Rachel and was like, what about this? She was like, yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Okay. I have an iPhone 8. I do thumbprint it, yes. 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 Don't forget to like the video, everyone, Beth That's says. Thank Beth. you, Beth. Thank you. Okay, over in Illustrator, this is going to be really quick because it is super easy. Basic shapes here. Um, this is what a plaque looks like. And all I did was copy it. Uh, so we have the YouTube logo here. I actually just found this a quick Google search. This was an SVG that came up. And um, I grabbed a basic shape. My rectangle tool, size like this. Removed the fill so that I could still see what I was doing. And then I'll increase the stroke here so that I can remember that there actually is a rectangle there. Then I duplicated the YouTube logo and released it. I don't need this YouTube part right here, so I'm going to delete it. And then select this, and then I need to make it a compound path again so that that center will be removed. Actually... Let's go ahead and leave it because I did cut it out of a separate piece. So let's change the color of it to white. There we go. Now I just moved this over here, placed it right here, sized it down a little bit, barely any, honestly. Like this. And then I grabbed the default font here, which is Myriad Pro and typed in presented to Oak and Lane for passing 10,000 subscribers. I'm not going to redo that because I already have it here. Right here. And then I size this logo down to fit right here, place this right here. And that's how easy it is to recreate, <laughs> recreate this. It's funny because I had forgotten what they looked like and I was texting Rach uh, at Fallon's appointment. I was like, give me a second to look at it, see if I could even recreate this before the live. I thought it was going to be more <laughs> complex, but I literally could have done all of it right here. Yeah. Um, so here in the Glowforge app, because I did use the Glowforge to do this, let's pull this up here and I'll show you really quickly. I duplicated... Uh, is it this one? No. I have four layers total here. And I did that because I wanted to add some depth to this. So when you pull this in, I wanted it, I think we ended up with like 10 inches high just because that's the size that I had for um, the Glowforge materials. But I duplicated this so that I cut out four different times and on three of them, I left it exactly like this. So it cut this out, cut this out, cut this out. On the last one, I cut this out, cut this out, and then scored right here instead of cutting. And so if I wanted to just change one of those layers to score, then I can select it and press score and then keep the other ones as cut lines, just like this. And then the other thing that I did, and I'll show you in just a second, we, this is the actual plaque that's right here. You can see has the cutout and all of that. Um, I was going to put the words in regular vinyl and white vinyl. And when I went to cut all of that out, it was an absolute nightmare. Everything was so small and moved around and it was ridiculous. So instead I spray painted this piece, our fun copper bronze color. And then I put paper masking transfer tape right here and braid it down really, really good so that there were no wrinkles or bubbles in it. I didn't want it to peel up. And then I took the file that had the letters or the wording. Oh, there's our screenshot. Wow. Oh, that, I mean, it's hell. beautiful. It is beautiful. That one was actually not that bad. It really wasn't that terrible. Um, pulled this in like this and then sized it, placed it. I scored this by coming up here and pressing score so that the laser would just score and I can remove these pieces right here with a weeding tool, paint that on and then remove the excess. And that will make sense in just a second when I show you, but that's all the design and cut work. I think each layer took like an, a minute and a half to cut out. It took 
right under two minutes to score this. Um, so it was really, really quick to cut out. Yes, Rachel. Kat says, wait, you did all of this just today. I did it in about 30 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not saying to do this, but if you do have a Glowforge and you wanted to like sell these puppies to people who haven't reached 100,000 subscribers yet, I bet they'd buy it. I don't know how that works with the YouTube logo, I though. I don't know either. I don't know either. I'd say there's some sort of copyright issue there. Maybe. What do you think? I would look it up. I'll However, you can make up. them. The, I don't know. Yeah, look it up. Look it up. Legally, I think the rule is you have to change only 20%. 20%? Yeah, but you're using their actual logo. That's true. Yeah. I thought that applied to logos. I don't know. I don't know. Look it up. For sure. You might could change it 20% to where you can't even notice that it's changed. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we can, go, we can go to overhead now. And I'm going to talk really quickly about the supplies that I used. I think basically you all know. I used MDF board for this. You can see this is the back here. Um, I wanted a solid piece. And then there's that one that's cut out. And then I have two layers here that are cut out that are just like this. I spray painted this one with this copper metallic spray paint by Krylon. And then, like I said, I put the um, six inch paper masking transfer tape that we use right here, braid it on and then scored. And in a second, I'm going to weed off the letters and we'll paint using a paint sponge and some white acrylic paint. But I also have my play button here that I did out of two layers and spray painted that copper color. And then I have this piece right here that I painted with just like an orange color. And while it was still wet, I mixed these two glitter colors together. This one is um, Starcraft Boardwalk. And then this one is the Element OP Cha Ching and just mixed them together here in this glass to make more of a bronze color. And I like the way you said those names. What? Elemental P and cha-ching. Cha-ching. Cha uh, so I have a little bit of a mess here that I'll clean up in a few and put back in here. But when this, um, I let this dry for just a couple seconds and put two layers of polyurethane semi-clear gloss on top so that the glitter doesn't come off ridiculously. And I'm trying to decide if I should um, hot glue this on or if I should wood glue it on. What are your all's thoughts? The, you know, the you actual know play button. You know me chanting hot glue, hot glue. I'm kind of thinking. But I don't know. Because we're not like, it's MDF to glitter. It wouldn't be MDF to MDF. So right. I don't know. Right. Let me see what all it says. Oh, Megan, you're right. What? Somewhere we should have put the date that we hit. Uh, yeah, I might put it on the back. That's a great idea. Yeah, I love that. But Megan says they should include them on the plaques. I think they should, too. I think so, too. I wonder if they're going ahead and engraving the name of the um, the name of the channel. It doesn't say. We have. I think I'll use hot glue. Okay. I was about to say, we have, so far, three votes for wood glue and one vote for hot glue. Who all, can I get some, like, is Beth voting because she does so Beth much said of this? hot glue. Okay. You're like his best photo. Well, she just does Where's so much. Beth? She does so much of it that yeah. I know that she is experienced with yeah, that. Yeah, no, okay. sure. Okay, so let's get over here and start weeding this. Let me grab. Oh, there's glitter all over this one. That's good. That's really good. Where's that pin one? Yeah, let me grab it. I think I left it over here. It's probably a better idea for the little bitty parts. So this is probably going to take me a few. So you all just ask questions, chit chat, whatever you want to do. No, let's just keep it super silent. Right? Or, and awkward. Or maybe we'll start to like whisper and do like an ASMR. We can do that. Oh, please don't do that. No? You don't want to? No. Are you still reeling from the success? Penny, oh my gosh, we have been on a high. Honestly, all day. I had the best day ever yesterday. It, well, I mean, I was just... It was everybody. lovely. If the mailman came, I would have went and told him. I just was so proud of everybody and so, it's, I'm so proud, but it's very humbling because 10,000 is so many people, but we could not have done it without every single one of you. And 
It's just incredible. I got to be honest. I told four people. That's all I told. Yeah. I told Fred. Yeah. I called him immediately after. Yes. Yes. And then um, my parent or my mom was watching. I did tell Wayne and then I told my kids and that's it. And here's why. I wanted to tell a lot of people, but yeah. I knew that they didn't understand what they that don't. meant. And yeah. so I didn't want to be super excited and then, then be like, oh, cool. yeah. And then you'd be bummed out. You're like, right. I will take this win. Yes. But I knew that you like I know that you all know how incredible it is. And so that's why I think it was even more special to be able to share the whole thing with you all. Rachel got a lovely selfie of us with you all. I did, yeah. All of you were there. It was very selfie. lovely. We're kind of green in it. You know, um, this iPhone 8 camera, it's doing the best it can. It, I mean, it's lovely. It it did I fine. regret I I'll yank james's phone away for a minute and take a quick picture of like charlie or something if i don't have my phone yeah and the quality difference just to take pictures of my son makes me want to go and get a better camera honestly that's why because, i bought better yeah because i'm like i want to capture yeah. these moments better yeah. than i am he's only little one well right and they may have because the 14 is coming out they may have some really great deals on like the 12s and 13s because oh, their cameras good, are really yeah. great too that's a good i mean i need to look into that Megan said about the uh, about the selfie back. Megan said, "But did we all look good?" Oh my gosh! And nobody had a double chin. Nobody's no. eyes were closed. Everyone looked. Every that's what I was gonna say. Is everyone had their eyes open? No one was like sneezing. It was. Everyone looked. You could phenomenal. see everyone's entire face. Yes, I, everyone looked yeah, great. It was. It was a. It was a momentous occasion, and usually those types of selfies, you know, don't ever look good. But this one was pretty much perfect. perfect. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a miracle, actually. Amy said, Rachel, even I'm dishing my iPhone 8 and I'm old. Amy. <laughs> Rachel doesn't this... like spending money, though. Oh, no. Definitely not on myself, either. No. I, uh, it's rough for me to pay, like, $14 for leggings at Walmart. Like, <laughs> I just, you know. But I have skipped lots of, I had, my first iPhone ever was the 4. Then I had the 6. And now I have the 8. But that's all I've had. That's all I've had. Okay, so that really was not that pain. That's cute, too. Right? I think it's going to do really good. I'm going to have to just be really careful about painting and going up and down. And I'm afraid, friends, that I'm not going to, I might have to do a couple coats. So I'll probably grab the heat gun and, um, oh, you know what? I should probably get rid of this glitter first before I turn the heat gun on. <laughs> yeah. And spray it everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Good idea. So what do you all have going on? What are you doing this weekend? My church has every September, this weekend in September, every single year we have an annual conference. And so that's what we're doing this weekend. It's called Overflow. If you have nothing to do and would like to tune in, we do live stream it. So Do you? We do. My brother, not Fred, Ben, is doing a ridiculous, ridiculously hysterical skit he is super super talented in the theater <laughs> world and he's doing this amazing skit that when, I cannot when, wait. what time is this it's sunday it's days? sunday morning okay okay so overflow is it will be friday evening all day saturday but you could like come and go with those um and then sunday morning okay so, yeah what was i doing oh painting yes painting <laughs> Um, Getting ready for a local craft sale, Jean says. Nice. Debbie's performing her play. Good luck, Debbie. Saw yes. some pictures of that on Facebook. It looks super fun. Rachel loves theater too. I. It's like a. It's like a secret. No one knows. I know. Really I, well, knows. I didn't know it until what two months theater. ago. Yeah. I love live theater. Didn't know it about you. Yeah. I mean, I'll go see anything. I'll go I got to be honest. The only way that I'll go see a play is if it's like a Broadway play or if I personally know the people in it. Really? Uh, otherwise, I'm just not a fan of theater. Oh, I don't like Christmas plays. I went and saw Beauty and the Beast once. Candle in a Window. I love stuff like that. Love it. Are you an actress? Can you act? You're hilarious. No. I used to. Okay, I'm spilling more beans. I used to be the backstage manager of plays. I could at see the that school I went to. Cornerstone I could see Academy. that. Right? Did you have like a? <laughs> I could see this. Did you wear a fanny pack and have like emergency aid things in it, and then hold like a? Um, <laughs> did you? <laughs> did you hold like a clipboard? I I did. There was a clipboard. I was in all black. You can imagine. 
Yeah. Uh, also, picture this. Little Rachel just got her braces off. Okay. And they make you wear both of your retainers for like two <laughs> weeks, except when you're eating. Yeah. So I'm going around with a list because I'm trying <laughs> to use my retainers. And I'm trying to direct this backstage play. Yeah. It was hilarious. hilarious. Oh. Some of the best memories backstage at that at those plays. That's so, hysterical. Yeah. Well, my sister's actually the actress. She. I could see that. She did theater. She's good at it. Um, speaking of lists, Fallon lost her other, which I know that a lot of you all have seen it because you're friends with me on Facebook, but Fallon lost her other front tooth yesterday and her lisp is cracking me up. But <laughs> part of it, like some of, some of the time it's really legitimate. Another time she's forcing it because she kept saying, mama, I lost my foof. I a lost foof. my foof. I'm like, well, that's foof. not how you would lisp. And she was like, I was like, what? I was playing dumb. What are you trying to say? Foof, mommy, foof. I'm trying to say tooth. And I was like, oh, like you just well, said? you just said mm -hmm. correctly, tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She's a stinker. Oh. You know, she's raising money for her bicycle. And she's been going over to mom and dad's to work for them. And um, I don't, I've got to, uh, hold on. I'm afraid, like it's starting to come up right here. Mm. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to get enough white coats on here before it starts coming up. Well, Becca, think of this. Even if you pull it off right now, you're still going to be able to see a great contrast. No. It doesn't have to be stark white. If you're nervous, play it safe. Um, yeah, I think some of it's already gotten underneath here. I think I'm going to have to leave it like this. Shirley's asking a question. Let's hear it. Why are you not painting the YouTube Play symbol red. Um, that's a great question. I didn't just because when you receive these from YouTube, it's all in white. Yeah. Well, for 10,000. 10, it kind of goes with the, or I'm sorry, for 100,000. It goes with the theme of the color. Plus, Becca likes red. It's Molly's favorite color. And we don't have anything red in here. Oh, no, I'm no. honoring you. No, what now? I oh, honored you with me. no red. Yeah. yeah. And also, Shirley, how could you pass up glitter? We had to do it. Had to. Oh, she was talking about this part of the play button. Ew. I'm so sad. This is not going to be able to be white, white, white. It's, uh, it's fine. Okay. Um, anyway, so she went, Fallon went to mom's on Monday to help her clean out her closet and her something else. I can't remember, like to do donate stuff. And then she went yesterday <laughs> to help dad clean the entire, <laughs> the entire outside of the camper. <laughs> it's like one of these um, is a little harder than the other. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> but hey, Fallon is not afraid to work. Hey, if, she is, uh, if she's up for the challenge, let her oh, go. Oh, she is. She is a hard worker. Uh, Susan said Fallon is a born entrepreneur. She is. Well, I mean, Easter of last year, she colored these. She made these eggs and painted them at school and then came oh. home and asked mm -hmm. everybody to buy them. She was she drove a hard bargain for some of them eggs. She did. People bought them. How could you not? If Fallon came up to me and was like, buy this egg I painted, I'd be like, sure, name your prize. <laughs> I think Anna bought like three, and every time... Anna asked her about it. She was, the price was higher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the demand is higher. Okay. Yeah, let's, okay. let's, uh, sure, sure. let's figure okay. this out here. Okay. That's, I'm not gonna be able to get it any darker. I need to get another one here though. Becca, do you think you'll stay a redhead for a good long time? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Are you asking or did someone else? No, it was just me. <sighs> just your BFF, Rachel. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's a whole lot easier. I do have to do it more frequently, but it's easier. Yeah. Okay, let's remove this. Linda says, or asks rather, Becca, did the tooth fairy pull her tooth at your mom's house? Mm-hmm. Yes. Becca doesn't pull teeth. No. And mm -hmm. Fallon doesn't like Wayne too. She only likes mom too. So. Nana or nothing. Yeah, Nana or teeth nothing. Pull one. And then. Mom left the tooth there. It's a whole thing. Yeah. So, so she she's five years old. She's in first grade and she's just learning to write. So 
found things out and she drew a picture of her and the tooth fairy and then wanted to write please go get my tooth for my nanas or something like that and she brought it to me I didn't know what she was doing she brought it to me and it was just a hodgepodge of letters now she can sound things out so I don't know what she was doing she's like mama what's it say and I was like hefty big minute in a body <laughs> huh <laughs> I was like exactly yeah. try again this is so satisfying Look at this. Oh my heavens. And then we just have to go back in and get pick out the little the little pieces. pieces. Look how satisfying that is. Let me dry it with the heat gun that I've apparently cleaned up and put away again. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I don't want to hit fine. the wet parts with my weeding tool. Anyway, I haven't I've not even been looking at comments. Let me pull my computer back up while this dries and see what's going on with you all. You don't trust me? Nope. You don't trust me to tell you what's going on? Sure do not. What are you trying to uh, look over, Becca? What are you trying to hear? <laughs> I was reading. Fred said <laughs> James is so angry. He said he, that she's only five and he doesn't want... But Fred, James didn't get any teeth until he was 12 months old and Fallon had like... You said your kids teethed early. When Fallon, when Fallon was 12 months old, she had eight in the front and then was already getting her molars her back molars becky was I the cannot, same way i cannot imagine and My they say Sarah, juliet just started cutting her teeth and yeah. she's almost 13 months old both are normal but they right, do say that how quickly you lose your teeth is connected to how quickly you get them i could see that i could see that fred don't tell james that she also has two more loose ones which will make six teeth gone so i mean that's just traumatizing her best friend pacey is also mad that she has no loose teeth and found has lost all of these oh gosh yes okay when i was losing my teeth i would hate for my teeth to be uneven yeah so if i like pulled out a canine on top i would i would one of the other the other canine to death yeah until i just ripped it out so i so my mouth would look aesthetically pleasing oh like yeah that makes sense as a as a homeschooler who goes nowhere well <laughs> rachel an aesthetically pleasing mouth <laughs> i just and i'll pull my own teeth so i'll pull my tooth and walk out and be like hey mom look and she would be like oh my lord poor mom did sarah pull her own teeth Sarah got her teeth pulled mostly yes, at okay. the dentist. Um, yeah, I didn't. I'm like you. I'm a control freak, so I don't want to give anybody control over anything, especially pulling my darn teeth. So, I pulled those suckers. I think Mom pulled all of ours except. <laughs> Fred said, "Or replace, <laughs> replace them with candy corn or chiclets." Rachel, Fred, you could I have done that, Rachel. That was a much. A much better option for sure. Fred, where have you where have you been all my life to give me such great advice? Mm. Uh, all my three sons had a full mouthful of teeth by 18 months old. Yeah. Surely that's nuts to me to think about. Uh, and then Christina said, my son has only lost two teeth and he is six. That's normal too. Mm -hmm. Renee said, my son had 10 teeth at 11 months old. That's a lot of teeth. Yeah, Beckett had Beckett had eight, and then honestly, I'm not kidding. I wish I were kidding. On his first birthday, he ended up with a he had hand, foot, and mouth, and he had eruption cysts in his mouth from his molars coming in on his first birthday. The poor kid. Oh, I love. But him. he, I mean, he just he's never been a complainer when it comes to pain or anything like that. Jean said, "Loose teeth gross me out so bad, and I'm not a queasy person." Me too. I, me too. For some, like the sound, and then. I remember the, uh, what do you call them? Not veins. Are they veins? What are they? The roots. The roots, the roots, Becca. Yeah, it it's disgusting. It hurts me to think about. Because sometimes you'd wiggle them and it'd be hanging on by like one root. Uh -huh. And then when the popping noise, oh gosh. It's they disgusting. They gross me out too. Mom is like, let me pull them. She's, she's cool with it. Kids would line up to let mom pull their teeth. Ugh. Oh. Oh. So clearly this is the longest part of this whole thing. It looks thing. really good. Thank I'm you. I'm super impressed. Almost finished here. And then we can put the whole thing together. I'm so excited to see it all together. It's going to be really cute. Okay. 
Where are we going to put it on our set, Rachel? I don't, we're going to have to make room for this. Oh, absolutely. Beauty. Absolutely. Then people are going to be like in all our videos. I'm going to be replying to comments forever for the remainder of Oak and Lamb. Where did you get that? And I'll just be like, you have to watch this video where we talk about pulling teeth. And then you'll know how to, how to make your own. Look. So Becca, that cute. looks gorgeous. I just wish it were brighter, but it's okay. It looks, it looks totally It's cool. okay. It looks great. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I've glued, like I said earlier, I've glued these two pieces together. And I've glued two layers here and this right here. And now I am going to place this in here. Just grab my wood glue and put some here. Don't put so much that it will seep out. You don't want that, especially on this glitter. Place this right in here like a little puzzle. Look at that. I didn't turn my Lynn Lily on. Goodness gracious. Also smudged my glitter there. Let's put a little bit more glitter right there. This is bound to get a little bit messy, but that's okay. Never made one of these before. <laughs> what? Kat said, if we know Becca, she will totally make a new one after the line. No, I'm not. I'm not going to. Because I made this one with you all. And it doesn't and look got that. here with you all. It also doesn't look that bad. What have you done? Well, I, I apparently didn't cover this part really well. So oh, you can kind of see through. Oh. Yeah, you can kind of see through it. Oh. So I was just going to put some more glitter on it. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Sure. Yeah. I just looked up from the from comments and I'm like, what are those splotches? What happened? <laughs> Lorraine, it does look professional. Becca is, is quite a professional. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's professional. It didn't want to stay. That's weird. Linda, I got home yesterday in the perfect time after reaching 10th. I don't care if I was an hour late. James would have sat there in the driveway and waited for me. I was so excited. Nobody could have brought me down off my cloud nine. But yes, ma'am, I got home at a perfect time. Charlie got to play outside. Oh, yes. I took him outside, laid down some fluffy blankets, and he just... Watch the clouds and the birds and threw ball with my dog outside. It was a gorgeous day yesterday. Oh, my too. gosh, it was. It really was. <laughs> well, can you see it's lumpy now? It's okay. Can you see it, though? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Because I want it to be perfect. Crystal, your kids are only 13 months apart. Bless your heart. <laughs> it does take a village. You are right. It does. Uno momento. I'm trying to decide. Yeah, this is going to make me happier, Rachel. And we have a friend. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Whatever makes you happier. We have a friend what? Um, we have a friend here that says, I hope it's okay to ask a random question. First of all, absolutely. Yeah. Lives are for random questions. They say, I'm about to make a framed sign with the words cut out of balsa wood. Do we have any tips for that? Balsa wood's pretty tricky, unfortunately. Um... Make sure you get it decently, decently thick, but of course not too thick because if you're using a Cricut, then of course it might not cut out if it's too thick, but they tend to break kind of easy. So just be super gentle about handling them. Uh, again, if you're cutting them with a Cricut, you never said what you're cutting. Oh, here we go. Cricut Maker and Cricut Maker 3. Yes. So I would just make sure it's thick, but not too thick, of course, for your Cricut and just be really gentle with them. Oh, that's better. Does that make you happier? It oh, that does. looks stunning. It's much better. That looks stunning. Now we got to dry it again. 
Don't spray polyurethane in an unventilated room like I'm doing right now. Don't do it. Or, or wear a respirator. Okay. Oh, that's cute. You talking about Emily? Who's calling me? Anna, tell her I'm live. What is wrong with her? Yeah, Emily. I was talking about Emily. <laughs> I'll text today, Emma. In all fairness, we normally aren't live at this time. Let me see. I Good enough. Was there was a question. I don't think I see it. Let me know if anyone asked a question. I thought I was trying to scroll up and find it, but I can't find it. Fred said, Rachel, did you see they're unveiling the new Mustang tonight? Fred, I did not see that. I'm going to have to take a gander. What new Mustang? I guess there's a new Mustang happening tonight. I do love a good Mustang. Okay. Let's re-glue this. Beth said I'm all about those bright colors. What bright colors? I'm guessing the glitter. Oh, yeah. no. Beth's talking about your bracelet. Oh, thank you. You know I love color. We're like kindred spirits there, Beth. Did I notice your bracelet? It's my same as always. Oh. Okay. Let me just poke this down in here because I don't want to get my fingers on it. As I put my finger on it. As I put my <laughs> finger on it. Well, it didn't want to go down. Yeah, Beth, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm slow Okay. Today. Wow, there's glitter everywhere. I was doing so good. And now there's just glitter everywhere. Man. Let's see. Oh, oh, are you serious? It's everywhere, right? I mean, literally We're everywhere. Out the shop back. It's everywhere. We're not the shop back. It's a little the dust, dust buster. buster. Yeah. Okay, that's better. Now I'm just going to glue this part here. And because I did two layers, it's going to be raised, which will be really amazing and give it really good dimension. So again, just going to put some wood glue here, cover all this, and then I'll probably clamp it so oh, that- Oh, are you trying to be Anna like a true woodworker? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, make my daddy proud. Mm, yes. Okay, we'll line this up right here. Oh my, Becca, I am in love with it. Right, it is cute. Okay, so let's clamp it really quickly. Becca, you know we've started something. We've started something. We're gonna have to make these for our milestones now. And like when we get the one from YouTube and it looks like trash compared to our fantastic homemade ones. Right. We're just gonna have to- Make a new one? Make a, make yeah. a new one. I'm gonna just clamp all four corners here. I'm gonna do that for a couple of reasons. One, because I want um, it to all be even. And two, when I do that, it acts sort of like stilt so that I can still work on it because I still wanna put the- um, Play button. Yeah, the play button. Play. The play symbol. Okay, so that's getting clamped. Um, I only have to, you only have to keep it clamped for about 15 minutes, if that, to be honest. And then, you're pretty much good to go. Have a Beth little. said, is it weird that I want to make one? And Savannah said, I need one because I just do. <laughs> a little bit of glitter there. Now, this is the hard part. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I'm dying, this is so cute. Okay. Hot glue it here. I really love it. I do too. Okay. It's more like we're gonna start a trend, Becca. We're trend setters. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. It's gorgeous. I do love it. Is it? Is it? Yeah, looks pretty good. Make sure to save this project in your. 
Your Illustrator. Make sure. Oh, so that we can file. make this yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. No, I do. I have it saved on the desktop. This is so stinking cute. Everyone's here. talking about how perfect it is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is. So, yeah. Really. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you all. How stinking cute is this? I'm so excited we got to make this with them too. <sighs> Who needs, who needs YouTube's wins when we can make them with our friends? Exactly. Yeah. All right. I think it's perfection at its best, said yes. Shirley. Thank now, you. Now, you all can add, I forget what they're called, like an alligator clip. You could add a little to the back. Like an E6000 one on the back yeah. of that if you wanted to hang it on the wall. Or if you want to put it on a little easel, things like that. Let's you go all are here. Totally Where do we think them. we should put it? Yeah, let me switch back. I don't really know because I love everything on this board. Mm -hmm. Oh no. It's gonna be hard. We I could know. put it on a shelf. We could, although I really love having these handy right here. I was gonna say we could put them here, but I really love having those there. I like the mats there too. We could just put it on a shelf. We'll figure that out. If it weren't too much work, I would want to hand out these plaques for anything and everything, like making it to Friday <laughs> oh. on a tough way. Crystal Oh, Crystal I mean, you know what? I, last last week, I, I needed that. I could have really used a, hey, you made it to Friday plaque. Yes. <laughs> Shoo. What a week. This week is much better, even though our website is still not doing what I want it to do. But it's still much better than last week. There's glitter everywhere. I tried. I tried so hard. Anyway, um, we are going to be live tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. Are we? I think so. We'll see. If we're not live here, we will be live in the private Facebook group. Either way, we will be live with you all. I don't know if it's on YouTube or Facebook. Um, we'll make that, if we change it, we'll make that announcement for you all. You guys are pitching, changing things that we love about it. What do they want to like, change? Hey, what do we want to change? And they just point things out. We're like, no, we love it. Where the mats are, the paint palette. The paint palette, it, it is really cute. Listen, it's a hard decision. I could layer the paint palette somewhere else, though. Like, because we have one here that's... Oh, true. But I use it. Like, that's the thing. This isn't just cute. It's, it's also functional. functional. Like, I grab things all the time here. I don't know. Yeah. YouTube says 1030. Yes, Shirley. Yeah. Um, I was able to get on the website last night using your trick. Great, Dana. Amazing. That's so, so helpful. Rachel, are you making them a glitter tumbler? I sure I am. Yeah. yeah. With EV resin, I can make one live for you guys. Yeah, Whatever honestly. Whatever Especially if it's sunny, then I can go throw it out there. Yeah. Yeah. The sun heats and cures the UV resin tenfold better than oh, any light you could buy. So quick. Honestly. Yeah. If you yeah. ever can put it outside, please put it outside. I love our sign, right? Oh, I look back at you did an exceptional job. It's so cute. I want a mini version of it. What? Okay. Good luck weeding all that and painting it. And, you know. Maybe it could just be blank. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe it could just be the play button. That like we could cute. do an offset like this and just do the play button. That would be a glittery really play button. Maybe you could do. Uh, Put like 10,000 just somewhere. Yeah. Like just one, you know. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, that's cute. That's anyway, cute. thank you all for making our play button with us. Becca, what is our next subscriber goal? 25? That sounds natural. 25? I guess. Then 50? Then 75 is like blah. You know what I'm saying? Like with numbers and it's like 100. 50, 100. Do you not jump from like 50 to 100 in your mind? Yeah, I don't do 75. Although, if I were turning 75, I would want a 75th birthday. Well, not party, because I hate birthday parties. Mm. I hate birthday parties. I would much rather just, like, go out to eat or go on a trip. That's fun. Trips are fun. Um, will you be doing videos on holiday crafts to sell? We are going to be doing um, a video, videos on ornaments. Um... Increments of five until 25. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple. So we more. can celebrate more often. That's sweet. A oh, YouTube play button keychain. That would be really cute. It would be cute. It would be cute. That's cute. Anyway, um, 
An acrylic mini play button. Yeah, I think, well, I wanted to do this one acrylic, but I didn't have time to order uh, because there are some like really pretty glittery acrylics that I could have done it with. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll change it up. We'll anticipate the next milestone, the 50,000. And then I think 50,000, I think, I, I don't think I'm going to make a, a button for 25. Okay. I think we'll celebrate it, but yeah. I think 50,000 will be the next button that I make. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I'll it's make up, it. Up for I'm discussion. Kidding. Yeah, I'm kidding. Maybe maybe I'm kidding. I can barely even open glow for the Glowforge. You know what would be even more space. fun is if we did it like out of different mediums. Like we could do one out of clay. Oh gosh. We could do and one at the out end, of like we just have like a ton a of whole hodgepodge. Wall full of them. Yeah. That'd Felt. be fun. <laughs> yeah. Um <laughs> uh, do a sublimation tumbler or mug with that on it. I love that idea too. I do. Anyway, thank you for being here with us today. We still have 93 watching. Um, thank you so much again for this all the subscriber help. If you are not a subscriber here on the YouTube channel uh, and you do like crafting and you like having fun and you love amazing people, then subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, also, we have a membership that our website. <laughs> if you're watching this a couple of weeks or even a week or something after we air it, then the website is likely going to be working. So you can check out our website, oakenland.com and join our membership as well. So, um, thanks so much for being here. And like I said, we'll see you here, um, either here or Facebook tomorrow at 10 30 AM Eastern. Have a fantastic day.